break yeah i really needed this break i needed to come home i really needed to connect with my ancestors going through a lot of stress i was really drained and um at some point i was so uh, we'll be dealing with visa issues and stuff like and that and i think i'm in the right place right now and yes we are in zimbabwe i am zimbabwe and i'm in zimbabwe and i can actually see that life is hard hi guys welcome back to my channel as you can see i am in zimbabwe yes i am in my kitchen this is my kitchen now and the sun is so bright the weather is so nice i am here i think you've all seen my video i stated that we have left china we have to leave china and uh now we are in zimbabwe some of you may be wondering what prompted us from you no know, making that for making that decision leaving china abruptly um anyway it's not like the way you may be assuming we are here because it's the golden week it's the chinese new year and um i had some days of work including the seven days of the chinese new year i decided to come visit my family here and during that time i am also going to find out if it is possible for us to live here in zimbabwe um, i am gonna be asking school and uh like if you have noticed for some of you who follow me on instagram instagram has it all yeah i post on daily basis and that is my handle you can click it and follow me on instagram you can get to see my updates on daily basis here in zimbabwe so this time i come to zimbabwe i am trying to live a frugal lifestyle yeah i'm trying to live like a local no extra expenses and stuff like that i want to see how it is or how much it will cost us to live in zimbabwe but if we decide to relocate and come and live in Zimbabwe, I want to leave the realities of living in Zimbabwe, not here, like just on a vacation. So I'm living like a normal Zimbabwean working in Zimbabwe, you know, living the normal life, not lavish lifestyle. So if you have noticed, some of you have seen me taking the public transportation, taking the taxis, you know, going to the um, local shops, going to the corner stores to buy our daily needs and stuff like that. So you guys there is only one setback so far that i've realized and i'm not really happy about it that is the lot shedding yes if we decide to live in zimbabwe for a longer period we need to find a solution to the lot shedding issue because it's no joke y'all we had electricity for less than um two hours yesterday and it was just going just like that and um today only came a few hours ago and i was able to recharge my phone and my gadgets and i don't think it would be really suitable for me to live in such a way so if i decide to come and live in zimbabwe i really have to have plan b on that installing the um solar panels or have the generator so whichever i think the solar will be a more suitable option for us just to have it installed and just being the same pipes with the electricity so when the electricity is gone we won't have so much differences or we won't even notice because the solar power will kicks in and so it's another thing that i've noticed and um but honestly if you're just living like a local here i think it's livable in zimbabwe i don't think it's that hard you just have to manage your budget just to know what's important and stuff like that so that's what i am trying to see and decide guys i'll be updating your daily basis and yes we are in zimbabwe i am zimbabwe and i'm in zimbabwe and i can actually see that life is hard here but I think getting used to it and getting used to the system and the way things are running are being run here and just living a frugal life, lifestyle. no flashy lifestyle. I think it's okay. So the next step, I'm gonna be finding out how much it will cost for my son to go to the local schools, of course, the private schools. Um, I, I just wanna see and how to get to and from. I normally and, uh, use other people's cars when I'm here in Zimbabwe. I don't have my own car, although I have my own houses, but i don't have my own car because we normally come to zimbabwe for less than a month in a year like in the past year you know you have seen me in in, in um in august in july i was here end of july and i left around mid august you know that was approximately three weeks i in am gonna be 
vlogging mostly about the Zimbabwean lifestyle and um and be updating on the school thing and uh, i need to find out how much it would cost for tyler to stay here like you know if he's if we're gonna come and stay here and he's gonna be starting in zimbabwe he is a foreigner here because he's not zimbabwean so we'll be dealing with visa issues and stuff like that so it's something that i am really really considering based on my previous video i think you've seen it where i spoke about how I was feeling towards the treatment I was getting from the um, Chinese parents who were in the same class with my, the parents of the kids in the same class with my son. Like, before I make the decision to come to Zimbabwe during this time, I was going through a lot of stress. I was really drained and um, at some point I was sick um, because of that. I think it was just too much for me. I got too much pressure and uh i just woke up one day and just say hey we need to pick our bags we need to go to zimbabwe thankfully to ethiopian airways you remember i have a video that i said before ethiopian airlines left us and uh, we later heard that they do that quite often when they overbook and stuff like that so i managed to claim that ticket thankfully to ethiopian airways they gave us the ticket and it was an open ticket that i was supposed to use and this duration was uh, in august i was supposed to use the ticket before august this year so i just decided since the chinese new year is coming let me just go home and take a break i needed a break uh because a lot has been going on like i said my health um i'm, I'm still feeling I'm, I'm still not feeling that well i still have some issues with my house but it's okay it's controllable and um i was just restless i was stressed so to say so i just wanted a fresh a breath of fresh air i just wanted to not meaning that i'm i'm saying china is bad or something but i just wanted to leave i just wanted to be out you know maybe i can appreciate a lot of things uh so me coming here i feel i'm in a different climate right now here it's warmer you can see what i'm wearing but in china it's still snowing and very cold so i thought it would be the most um perfect time for me to take this break and come to zimbabwe even for a shorter period and access life in zimbabwe how we can cope with that how we can live in zimbabwe as local people not like people coming for holidays or for a short time so i just try to live that way so we can see how we can adapt whether it will be easy for us to adapt and stuff but there are things that i've already mentioned earlier on that at the load shedding and stuff like that it's it's yes people can adapt by the use of gas stoves use of uh, um solar panels or even generators these are other options that we can have to make our life easier i also have a project that is running on and um i was just trying to see if everything can all fall in the right place and i think i'm in the right place right now i feel relaxed i feel refreshed and i'm in a warm nice weather right now whereas where i'm coming from is still very cold and i feel really really grateful for being here for this short time and it kind of refreshed my mind and i have fresh thoughts about things and how to approach stuff so i think i needed this break yeah i really needed this break i needed to come home i really needed to connect with my ancestors <laughs> yeah we have the plans to go to my village again i think i've shown you a lot of couple of videos I, i've shown you a lot of videos from my um a village that also came a bit late because some people were even asking me are you in zimbabwe or something but i wasn't here these are the videos that i took the last time i came last year in august but i was not able to edit those videos or send those videos so i finally got the chance and i started sending the videos one after the other because i was already planning to come to zimbabwe so i know some of you will feel like oh maybe you were already there now i wasn't here i was still in china when i was posting those videos so they came later than the time they were supposed to be at but these ones the videos i'm posting I'm now posting is i'm here i'm still in zimbabwe and uh yeah you guys thank you for the support i want to say thank you thank you for continuing to support my channel and um continue to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel su support us um yeah i think it's also therapeutic to talk to you and say some things to you sometimes it relieves the heaviness of the heart uh you know just knowing that someone somewhere is listening you want to say thank you for that because you have no yeah, idea and i i don't take that for granted y'all i'm really really thankful for that thank you so much i guys. gave
it's goodbye for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.